Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. So today, like promised, I, um, I'm i gonna do a little mushroom collage on this old book cover. Um, I did the other one of this cover, the other portion of this cover for the Santa uh, collage that I did. So we're gonna do something, you know, like that, but obviously not Christmassy. So <clears throat> I have my drop cloth, whatever. Here, and I thought we could use maybe some alcohol inks. What do we got here? This one's caramel. This one's latte. Those are probably um, oh ginger. I think ginger is a little more red. I don't know. <clears throat> I think I want to stay kind of in those colors. And then have my rubbing alcohol. And my dropper. That's what I forgot to get out. Okay, so I've got that. Got my Stabilo all. I'm just gonna get a little bit of alcohol out of here. I don't need really hardly any. <clears throat> it's just isopropyl alcohol. I just thought I would put a little. I can't decide if I want to just put it on there. Maybe I'll put it on one of these little pieces of mylar first. Oops. <clears throat> so how you all doing? I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. I am having a good one. I just have been running around back and forth and back and forth. Um, we took my son's car in this morning. Oh, bummer. Is this not going to work now? And, um, oh, jeez. Well, I'm really glad I didn't do that on the mushroom, huh? Took his car in because it needs some new belts on it and then I came back got packages packaged up and <clears throat> ran to the um, post office <laughs> and then I was gonna run to the grocery store and then my husband texted me I'm freezing because it's only like 15 degrees here today can you please bring me a, a sweatshirt to his work and I was at the grocery store so I was like I have to finish up here at the grocery store and then um, I'll run home and I'll get your sweatshirt and then I'll come back and bring it to you. And mind you, I had driven by his work like just a few minutes earlier going to the post office. I mean, he doesn't know, you know, it's no big deal. It's just funny because it's like, oh, now I have to turn around and go right back where I was, <laughs> but it's fine. So yeah, I pretty much just have spent most of the day so far just driving around in my car. <clears throat> I mean, I'm sure we've all been there, right? Yeah, it's super cold. And he wore like a a shirt and a like a warm vest thing. But he was like, I can't, I'm just freezing. So yeah, but it's like I said, it was 15 degrees yesterday. I don't even think it's 15 today. I didn't I didn't get a chance to look. I haven't really done that. I'm just putting this alcohol ink here and there. And as you can see, like, as it dries, it kind of like, <clears throat> um, like some spots it's lighter, some spots it's darker. I just want some color to this little mushroom I got going on here. And this just corrugated cardboard that I basically did the same way I was doing the other day with the ones um, that Louisa made. <clears throat> and then um, um, I added gesso. Sorry. You're all like, and um... <laughs> <clears throat> Way it is with my crazy brain. I don't know. Like I'm feeling like I'm not getting what I want. Caramel latte. I know that ginger one's a lot. I think a lot more red. Yeah. I mean they're very similar in color. I kind of just want some of them to stay darker in some areas, you know. But 
it's not cooperating with me. <clears throat> and I'm sorry, it's cold. So whenever it gets cold, my asthma kind of goes a little nutty. And I spend all my time like clearing my throat and my lungs and, you know, all that fun stuff. Just to top it off, I'm going to see if I can find some green bundled sage. I need a dauber. I'm not sure. I thought I had one for that, but I may not have for these. <clears throat> So anyhow, that's what I've been up to today. I hope you've been having a good day and hopefully you'll get some time to do some crafting and playing. And try to get, I think I'm gonna put some of this over here. This is just water soluble, so I don't need the alcohol for that. I need water. Since that's already wet is what I'm thinking. I didn't really want to, yeah, I like the book. And I'll probably add some vintage photo or something to Of that lichen y thing or something on it. Try that. How come it never goes the way you want it to go? <laughs> right? something else here. I think I need darker something, but I don't know what. Old paper isn't going to be darker. Some walnut ink might work. And then I know I've got a darker green forest moss. That's what I need, huh? Grab another little piece of mylar. And I know the distress ink is different, but I will see what I can do <clears throat> with the moss. I think that's what I was looking for. Yes. have a thing for that yet so I'll be right back I just had to give them one of those that's working yeah I'm having too much fun with the mushrooms now <laughs> Thanks to Louisa. She just comes up with great stuff. I mean, she's just super talented. <laughs> 
Super talented. Okay, yeah, that's looking grungier and grungier, right? <clears throat> Okay, and then I think I'm going to use my spill all to kind of come in here and then I will go dry all of it, put some dots. Sorry, I'm just laughing because I can hear Pasha downstairs. My husband printed on the 3D printer. <clears throat> this ball that was for something that he was um, making, but it didn't print quite right and the hole wasn't right that's in it or whatever. But anyway, I said, oh, you need to print one of those for Pasha because I knew he'd love it. He loves any kind of hard uh, ball that'll just roll around on the wood floor down there. And um, so he's like, oh, well, he can have this one because it's not quite right. I need to print another one. So he has been rolling that thing all over down there ever since my husband gave it to him. He just has a blast with it. It'll stop for a while and then next thing you know you hear it rolling around on the hard floor again. It's just a funny one, that cat. I mean, I know all cats love that kind of stuff, but he really loves that kind of toy. They all kind of have their thing, you know. He also likes stuffed animals. The kids um, were littler and had webkins. My daughter would always set hers all up <clears throat> in a room and he would go in there and pick out the ones he liked. And um, it was usually funny. It was either the light pink or the, he's a white cat and I don't know if he just you know, they say they don't see in color or whatever. I don't know if that's true. But anyway, um, he would pick out usually the lighter, lightest colored ones that she has. And then I would get home from work at the school and they would all be downstairs. Because <laughs> he would carry them all down the stairs. <laughs> he wouldn't really play with them a whole lot while we were around. But whenever we were gone, he would drag them out and play with them. It was cute. So, likes that kind of thing. All right. So, I think I'm going to spatter some gold on there. I'm wondering if I should get it dry first. I think I better. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to dry it and I'll be right back. I'm back. Uh, I just went down the rabbit hole, which I often do, so <laughs> I was just drying those, and then the um, the gesso started to bubble. I don't know if you can see it right here. There's the little bitty bubbles in the gesso, and um, then I was like, ooh, it would be cool to do embossing powder. I don't have a Versamark anymore um, stamp pad, and that's what you usually use to make the embossing powder. This is gold embossing powder I got hundred years ago from Stampin' Up. It even says winter white and it's gold. So anyway, <laughs> um, I used to use it and then I just got tired of messing with it because I felt like it never turned out perfect the way I wanted it, like on letters and stuff like that. But for junk journaling, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? So I used um, a little bit of gesso, which is probably a bad idea because it does kind of smoke a little bit so it's probably not good for you I would not do that all the time but use your Versamark or something and um or something to make the powder stick right and then you heat it with your embossing tool or your handheld hot heater and um you can get this kind of an effect from it so I just sprinkled it all over wherever I wanted it some places I dipped it in it you know to get like a bigger blob of it there so now I definitely have gold that's for sure but I think I want where did I put that green 
it wasn't the green i took the green one off yeah oh that's the other green that's the lighter green okay let's use the darker green um yeah i i don't i'm not recommending using um gesso and doing that because i'm sure it's probably toxic and not good for you so definitely use the versamark i just didn't have one so i was being naughty but um yeah it turned out really cool anyway <laughs> uh, probably horrible for you but but it was fun so yeah i got some good coloration some good like bubbles and I like that. I, I didn't want it to look quite so, um, like, you know, uh, corrugated cardboard. I mean, clearly that's what this is. And you want it to sort of look like corrugated cardboard. But I wanted, you know, some other look about it. So I thought if I went around the edges more with the gesso, that would help take away just the, the cardboardiness of it, if that makes any kind of sense. Oh, that's not dry not dry it thought it was but it's not let's use a little bit of this instead just straight on it it might be cool just to dot i was just worried to do that because i you know it can kind of get carried away as we all saw but for a few little dots it's not bad I just didn't want the white white over there. Just kind of gives it that, you know, earthy effect or something or look about it. But that will dry fast, I know. And we can work on some other parts while that's drying too. But yeah, it made some really cool bubbles. The bubbling of the, between the embossing powder and the um, gesso made some really cool bubbles. So obviously you don't have to take this much time. I just get, you know what I mean? I Like I said, I went down the rabbit hole. So I don't know if I'll actually finish this today or not, but we can do it again another day too. If we don't, and of course you're always welcome to fast forward for those of you that like to fast forward. A lot of you tolerate my antics the entire time. <laughs> and I thank you. But I do understand if you're get bored of it. And that's that Stabilo All pencil that I've used before, just telling people in case they don't know. Oh, and somebody asked again what is in the top of my Art Glitter Glue. It's just a... Um, knitting needle like cap so that you don't poke yourself with the knitting needles and you can buy them wherever the knitting needles are in your local craft store they work great for uh, do not want alcohol ink on my mat because that won't come off i mean it'll probably help to put some i'll get some rubbing alcohol on it later and it'll probably come off mostly anyway Okay, I'm just gonna leave that alone and see what we end up with. Maybe just, sorry, I'm gonna leave it alone until I get out my alcohol ink again. I really just want dots. Why does it keep doing blobs? Okay, let's leave it alone. And then we'll work on the other parts that we're gonna do. My book, all my stuff's dry on my hands. I have some, um, this is some handmade paper that my niece got me for Christmas with leaves and things in it. Super cool. She got me these really big rolls of 
this cool, like, I don't even know what that is, but isn't that really cool? Handmade paper. And then this one. And then the, um, like, almost embossed looking. If you guys can see that. Yeah, so she got me those. So I tore off a piece of that one with the leaves and stuff in it. I thought that was a good compliment to it. I'm just going to ink it. So thank you, Bailey. <laughs> She's such a sweetheart. Yeah, she found those that paper and um, made a box to ship it to my sister. <laughs> and then my sister wrapped it for Christmas and brought it to me. Isn't that sweet? They're so sweet. It's like, I can't believe she did that. So, yeah. Very, very nice. But yeah, I can't find stuff like that around here. Surprisingly, I mean, you'd think I could in Boise, but really, no. I wish there was more stuff like that. And then this is just some um, paper that I used to coffee dye, and then it was out in the sun. So it's almost like baking it. You can do the same, give the same effect. It kind of melts the wax, you know, of the wax paper. So it's kind of cool. And then the coffee staining, obviously. So we'll just make a little background to put our mushroom on. Hopefully this part won't take me quite as long as it took me to color that little, little thing. Okay, and I think I want a little bit of book page here and there in this, just because I like it. I like how it looks. This is that really fall apart paper. Ah, see, <laughs> it's really hard to glue too because it just kind of like disintegrates. What did I do with my glue stick? Can't see it. Ah. Okay, well, this is definitely going to be just bits and pieces here and there. And I don't even know how much of this you're even going to see as far as the stuff behind the mushroom, but we're just going to, we're just going to put it on here and there. Yeah, I figured since I don't have a Marguerite Miller collage, I could still do some kind of cool collage would be fun. For all the people that like to see collage and then like I said I've been hooked on these mushrooms I don't have to stick to them yet anyway Let's go here I think it should stick okay with um, because I do like this background paper, so I'm not going to cover everything completely. But I just wanted some sort of kind of grounding spot for the mushroom. Yeah, this is like a mulberry paper. You can see through it and you can feel all the little bits and pieces that are in the paper. A super sweet gift. She's a sweetheart. I'm going to squish it just a little because I do want, I don't want it to look perfectly just flat back there. Might be a little bit much there. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to crumple even more. So it doesn't look so stiff. It kind of had that stiff look happening. Okay. And I'm hoping this will stick okay. <laughs> you never know with the whole wax paper thing. 
hopefully it will. Yeah, it feels like it's gonna stick pretty good. You can kind of tell pretty quick because if it's not gonna stick, it won't like really stick to begin with, so. There's some bubbles, air bubbles. Okay, that looks good. Let's see. I'm just gonna kinda gently lay this here just so we can get an idea of how far up we are and all that. It's gonna be interesting getting that to stick down because it's curved now from drying it. And then I kind of made up some clusters and I don't know if they'll end up going exactly as they are, but I just kind of wanted to get an idea yesterday of what I was even thinking of doing, but I'm thinking I'm going to put this piece down here. So I'm going to have to stitch that together. That's going to go there. And then I think these little bits and pieces are just going to kind of go on here somehow. I need to ink that one. I don't know if my sewing machine would go through that mushroom, especially now that it's got all that paint and stuff on it. I kind of don't think so. So I'll probably end up pausing, stitching these, and then coming back. And then I just have, see, they're just bits of fabric. And then I also punched some little tiny circles just with my um, hole punch, nothing fancy. But I thought they might look kind of cool just sort of sitting here and there. And then I have this other piece. This is that paper that my niece gave me. That's really cool. I don't know if I'm gonna end up using all of it. It's another piece of like, it's just a textural paper I think that came like as some type of uh, food wrapper that my sister brought me. She brings me, anytime she finds anything textural like that, she'll bring it to me. And I'm leaving the crazy strings because I just like it. even have these Tim Holtz tissue that just has numbers. Another one of these. <laughs> Those are tricky to uh, ink. <laughs> I'm mostly inking my fingers, I'm pretty sure. And that one's a different color on the other side of that paper. So I'm going to flip it that way. There's another one of these too. And then I have to decide. I kind of feel like I want like a butterfly or something up near the top because I feel like it's all kind of happening right here and nowhere else. So this is just fabric. There's pieces of burlap, you know, just the strings of burlap, how the burlap will come apart like that, you know, like that. 
So I will stitch it and hopefully get it to all stay down like that. Let me add one of these on here. I just want it to have that kind of fibery effect, if you know what I mean. Okay, so something like that. And then I did have one to go along the side over here too, but I don't know if I want that there. I feel like that would be too much. So I'm going to get these stitched and then I'm going to check and see if I have like a butterfly or something maybe to go up here. I don't know. I will be right back. Okay, I am back. I have stitched. I haven't glued. I've just stitched. And then I found this fern that's from my Torn Paper and Ferns digital download. I cannibalized a little piece off of the original. <laughs> And so, yeah, that's that. And I kind of like this book, but maybe, I mean, it's a piece of book binding. It's not a book, clearly. I was wondering if it could go like up here somewhere. And then maybe one of these um, scientific numbers. I was not feeling the butterfly. I tried to figure that out and it wasn't working for me, so. Um, let's see. Let's go January 1803, even though clearly it is not that. <laughs> but it's just one of those. There, These are in uh, my torn paper and ferns digi too. And there's mushrooms and all kinds of fun stuff. There's some butterflies in that kit. Doesn't feel on the butterflies. On there. I mean, I guess that's not a scientific number, it's a date, but. I have this label too that's just floating around my desk. do a different kind of a look with this part. Yeah, something that I thought would take me just a little while is taking me like two hours. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, it's bad. Put a little piece of that on there. And then maybe a little bit of cheesecloth. Okay, I'm going to actually go ahead and glue this instead of, where's my, no, right there, like, I know I used it this morning, my water cup over there clinging against my ring. Okay, put this on. And I know I've got extra strings on there, and I'm totally fine with that. Actually, kind of crunch this. that like that. I'm going to have that kind of go down behind the mushroom a bit. This uh, piece of Tim Holtz stuff. And that will go in behind there. Kind of up over here. Okay, I think I have the layout now. I'm going to ink this just a touch because it's a little bit too white. might put a little bit of alcohol ink on that. Okay. 
Okay, let that dry a little bit. Put a little bit on this one. I am just making a disaster here, people. <laughs> if you want to know how to make a mess, you're in the right place. Because <laughs> I am definitely the master of that. Okay. Now we're going to put this down with some glue. Finally, finally, right? You're like, wow, uh, we're going to collage now? After um, an hour of not washing at all hardly that'd be different okay and we'll put our fern I really want to make sure I get the fern in the right spot so I think I'll put this piece down at least at the bottom of it just because I don't want it to end up having to hang off because the mushrooms too um lower high or whatever i want to get all of that in the right spots and then i left the top unglued too because it's going to go like that okay and then this needs a little more ink i'm going to actually put a little alcohol ink on this too luckily that dries real fast This piece is going to probably kind of be down here on the page. Basically want it to look like that fern's almost coming out of that fabric there. Let's get that glued. And then I'm going to put the mushroom on another layer. That burn isn't entirely connected, so I may have to put some more glue behind it. fragile because it's a real some kind of fern I don't know I ordered those off of Amazon so but they feel like dried fern pieces so I don't know they look pretty darn real <sighs> oh I was gonna lift that huh it's gonna lift up because it's gonna be on that foam stuff so that fern's not gonna be able to go over the top Okay, so I have my fern, or my fern, my um, foam stuff, fabric-y foam. Put some pieces on the back, and it will get lifted up. I like to kind of round them a little bit. I mean, a lot of you saw me do this for the Christmas ones that I was doing. I just like to add a little extra glue because I never know really how well that's going to stick. I got this, um, I think I mentioned when I was doing the other collages around Christmas time. Um, from my father-in-law who he works for the airline and I guess they just throw this stuff away so he was like I thought you might be able to use it for something so um like it has an expiration date for the airline like you know they can't use it after a certain amount of time and it's probably because like it is hard to get the backing off of 
and so maybe it uh, loses its stick a little bit or something. I don't really know, but anyway. It was very nice of him to save it for me, and it works great for this kind of thing, for sure. Okay, and we're going to put glue on directly on that. And I know that's a lot, but I want to make sure this doesn't go anywhere. I want it down that far, I don't think. I think I want it about there. If I have to, I can kind of crunch that fabric because that's not a problem. Down a little bit, yeah. Okay, and I'll work on that too, so it's not gonna stick out weird like that. <laughs> um. sort of figured it out better than I had the first time I did this on camera. Not a lot better, but how to get that back stuff off. Luckily, this will stay pretty rigid anyway, just because it's um, cardboard. You know, it's not like paper that'll get all floppy and just like flop over or something. Okay. Why does your nose always have to itch when you're like gluey, whatever, painty, <laughs> all of the above? Ugh. Drives me crazy. Okay, I might put a little piece of that under there too, just to kind of pop that up a little bit so it doesn't look like it's folded, you know, like weird. Let's see if this piece will work. Stick that. Let's be narrower. Oh, come on, you. Yeah. so it feels like it comes up over that a little bit better instead of like folding to come up over it. Okay. Now let's do those other bits we're gonna put on. I'm gonna put a little glue on that dot because I'm afraid it's going to come off. I'm going to actually let that hang off over there. I think. Okay.
And it's going to come down just a little bit to cover up kind of that seam of the two pieces coming together. And then we're going to put some of these little dots on because I couldn't get them stitched very well. They kind of run away from you, I'm sure you can imagine. Actually, I might put one up here. Oopsie, you stay up there, you little stinker. Man, it is so cold today, like I said. <laughs> Poor neighbor, he's out trying to scrape the ice off of his driveway. And it's just not budging because it is, it's there to stay for a bit, I think. Unfortunately. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna come back here just a little bit. Kind of give me a little shadow. I think that'll help it kind of pop out a little bit, you know what I mean? Can't really do it there because of the fern, so. I know you probably can't see very good, but I'm just kind of going under that lip right there of the mushroom to get some shadowing happening. And again, this, this pin just has water in it. Yeah, it was literally um, snowing this morning, but it was that, um, you know how it just does like ice, like it's just little tiny, I guess <laughs> it's so cold. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was doing. Just want to do a little bit in here. I know that fern's there, but I want to. I'm going to do maybe another few of these. Where's that other one? Was it the, I think it was the ginger one I ended up liking as far as, that's caramel. Where did the ginger one go? Um, that spot right there really like, like it sits on top a little bit more. Well, it did in that one spot, at least, I guess, because of the, um, what do you call that? Embossing powder underneath. Jeez. Sometimes my brain, I worry. Okay, let's see. Let's get this. And I'll probably still get spatters everywhere. I'm trying to decide if I want to use the, I guess I can try that. are probably like oh my god are we done yet <laughs> sorry went right down that rabbit hole today and this is Windsor and Newton uh, ink I someone asked me about that too so it's this Windsor and Newton gold ink and I get it on Amazon um, I'm sure you can get it at probably art supply places as well
gives me a very fine, obviously, right? But I think I want some bigger splotches too. like a dot and a dot you know what I mean I'm not getting that effect that I want bet you've never seen such a gold mushroom in your life right Probably good. I just okay. Stop. <laughs> Get something to pick that up so I can use it for something else. Alrighty, there she is. There she blows. Let's get this stuff out of the way. Super fun. I love those mushrooms, Louisa. Oh my gosh, I could just like do that for days. You probably thought I was going to, huh? <laughs> But yeah, super fun. So if you have an old book cover, just go for it and play. And because I think that is just really fun. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope it wasn't too torturous. <laughs> and I will see you again soon. Love you. Bye.